Ladies and gentlemen of the Butt End of Nowhere PTA, I want to register my displeasure with these hooligans called the Three Stooges. They are a menace to our children and should be taken off the air. Oh, a wise guy, eh? Oh. You nitwit. Brothers Jerome Samuel and Moses Horwitz, with partner Larry Feinberg, punch, slap, and kick their way to the top of the box office and into our hearts with their zany antics. They are the Three Stooges. <laughs> hey, that piece is lumpy. Yeah. Say. This wallpaper's got eyes. The face looks like Mo. It is Mo. Yes, it is me. Get busy, you jugheads. We got a lot of work to do. <laughs> now go on. This unruly comedy troupe began in vaudeville in the 1920s with Ted Healy and his Southern gentlemen, with Mo and Shemp Howard. Healy attempted to sing and tell jokes, but the bungling and noisy stooges interrupted his shtick. Healy responded with physical and verbal abuse to the uproarious results. In 1925, Shemp left to pursue a solo career. Larry Fine was added in Chicago. In 1929, the act appeared to rave reviews on Broadway in A Night in Venice. The first movie Ted and the Stooges made was Rube Goldberg's 1930 film, Soup to Nuts, for Fox I guess Studios. I told him a thing or two. Well, let me tell you a thing or two. Uh, if it hadn't been for you, we wouldn't be thrown out of these theaters. Always fooling around with the girls instead of rehearsing the act. Yeah, I heard you tell that girl they're going to put her name in Lakers' light. Is that what I said? Yeah. You know, I was thinking of something else. Let me tell you, from now on, I'm serious. No more girls. Strictly business. You mean that if I'm lying, I hope you drop this. <laughs> you got long in 1933, the act was signed by MGM for film shorts and features. When the contract was up, the Stooges decided to go it alone, without Healy. Mo served as the cantankerous leader of the pack. You failed to catch three spies. Blow out your brains. But my Fiora, we are Nazis. We have no brains. Then what you got, blow out. Larry was the clueless, frizzy-haired go-between. It's a bird. Sure, a bird in the head's worth two in a bush. And Curly was the bald numbskull. The Stooges violated every rule of comedy. Their characters lacked depth, weren't subtle, and they always put the gags ahead of the plot. The Stooges signed with Columbia, and over the next 24 years, they did 192 reelers in five short films. In 1947, while on the set, Curly suffered a stroke and left the gang. He later died in 1952 at the age of 48. Shemp returned and went on to act in 77 Shut up, Shorts. Do you remember your Uncle Caleb? Do I? Why, that old tight wad heat steel flies from a flying spider. But Shemp, he's... Uh... He's a louse and a weasel. Yeah, well, he just died and left you 500,000 bucks. Just like that old skin flint. 500,000 bucks! <laughs> Poor old Uncle Caleb. Like I was saying, he was a swell guy. Give me the shirt off his back, yeah, and throw in the buttons, too. But there's one little catch. You get the dough provided you're married. So <laughs> married? No, no, fellas. Until his premature death in 1955. In the following years, the Stooges faded from the scene until their short films were syndicated on television, gaining a new generation of devotees. She finds out we're cooking in a room, we're goners. You know the trouble we had finding this place. You better start cooking for the TV show for tomorrow. Or you'll answer to me. Now sound off. Okay, Chief. Hello, everybody. It gives me great pleasure on this monotonous occasion. Hey, hey, hey. hey. It's momentous. mo -mentous. Now, what are you giving me two words for when I'm having so much trouble with one? <laughs> 
Though they never received residuals, they did go on to great success doing films aimed at kitty matinees, on television with a live action and cartoon series, and in live performances, where they became one of the highest paid live acts in America at $25,000 a performance or $190,000 by today's standards. We got it. We got it. You got what? We found a way to put Simon and I's car wax and Simon and I's car cleaner all in one push button can. And just how does it work, Professor Nitwit? Come on, we'll show you. Come on, we'll show you. Come on, with. <laughs> now, what you can think of is those crazy things which kids see you do. Yeah. Now, did, do you ever get letters from mothers, irate mothers, saying, How dare you no, do never, that? My, never irate mothers. Uh, confused parent teachers associations. <laughs> 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 they uh, are isolated cases. And uh, this child psychologist, where they took the shows off in Cleveland on account of it, yeah. uh, could anything that the students do in their films hurt a child and cause them to do things that normally they wouldn't? She said, no, I'm a lover of the Stooges myself. But if a family has a problem child, then it doesn't make any difference that you'll watch a Western where they're killing people and they'll grab a gun and kill somebody. But a normal child never gets anything difficult out of the Stooge comedies. In 1969, they were filming a new TV pilot travelogue about three retired cooks traveling the country called Cook's Tour. Production was halted when Larry suffered a stroke, ending his career. Ultimately, Larry passed away in 1975. Mo wanted to replace Larry with longtime support actor Emil Sitka but sadly, Mo too passed away in 1975. The era of the Three Stooges had come to an end. The Three Stooges were gone, but not forgotten. In 2012, actors Sean Hayes, Will Sasso, and Chris Diamantopoulos took the famous roles and brought the Stooges to a new generation. When serious matters crowd into our daily lives, the Stooges inspired nonsense, simple foolishness, and innocent wacky abandon. With no hidden meanings, is guaranteed to bring out the inner child in anyone who lets the Three Stooges into their hearts. When me and my friends go out of the town, we can't sit still, we can't sit down. We don't like to fight and we don't like to scuffle, but we dance all night doing the curly shuffle. Hey Mo, hey Mo. Hey.